I trained in the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh uh, in 1970. I started my nurse training and I have lots and lots of very fond memories and very funny, some of which I can repeat and others that I perhaps shouldn't. Uh, then I started training uh, nurse training in January the 6th, 1969. Uh, and my God, do I remember that day. Terrified and excited and little did I know how much that day would change my life. Um, I met that day friends who I trained with, who are still my closest friends today, and I love them dearly, and we've been through hell and heaven together. It's at the Royal that I met Margaret, and we became the Spotty Frock Brigade. Um, we were a clinical managers and each would have an area for the hospital. But I was previously uh, a medical student, then a junior doctor, and finally a consultant in the Royal Infirmary. And our world was really ruled by Dr. Murray Lyon, by Ward Sister, and by the senior registrar. It was a wonderful opportunity being involved in the equipping to actually go around all the different departments and see so much more of the hospital. And to do things that most people would never have had the opportunity like going up into the clock tower and going behind the clock and seeing the small little electric motor that, that ran the, the main clock. 2003, the old hospital was closing and the new hospital was opening up. Again, a huge challenge. And I often think that, you know, we moved now on a thousand patients over a period of, I think it was three weeks, with absolutely no incidents. All of them potentially sick, some more sick than others, and no incident is, is, I think, an incredible feat. I actually was fortunate enough to work with the new build team and actually help organise moving uh, from the old um, site to this one. And I felt that was a real privilege because um, I was really very fond of, of the old building. People have settled well now. We're five years down the road and uh, looking to the future and not looking quite so much back. It's nice to, to think back to the old building and remember the, the really good times there and, and the way that everything moved on and everything will continue to move on. And in 50 years time, I'm quite sure that people, when the time comes to leave this building, will be just as sorry to leave it because they'll have their own new memories as we have uh, left our memories at, at Lauriston Place.